Welcome to Picks Central. My name is Martin Mush. Uh, I am joined here today by Smitty, Big Ev, Clemmer, and Jack Mac. Um, I wanted to start off the show. Uh, we haven't talked to any Final Four yet this week because we uh, we have. I think we should do it today because you're leaving tomorrow to yeah, go. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out. I'll be out tomorrow. Um, and last night into this morning was some tomfoolery was happening in the NCAA and UConn just couldn't get a flight out of uh out of Connecticut out of Connecticut yeah out of Connecticut and they they would have gone I mean this goes deep uh we we have to I mean I want you I want you to go deep do you know who schedules all of the travel for the final four no the NCAA yeah and the NCAA every other team has been in Arizona UConn had to fly two time or yeah two time zones to Arizona, to as well as NC State. Right, Why right, weren't they on, on, right now? Three time zones. Arizona's West Coast time. It's like three. It's like three hours off. The Depends mountain. It's like, on, it's like uh, half and half. It's own, ah, they got so it. So just to give you more, three. right now it's three. Three time zones. Wait a NC second. State also had to do that. But question. So you're saying Purdue? Has already been in Arizona. Purdue and NC State have been there since Monday. That's is that crazy. their own choice, so or is that you? The NCAA, well, uh, we need answers. I want Charlie Baker on this program. He can call in. <laughs> we have Zoom. We have Skype. Put out, put, so I want Dukes, tweet out Charlie Baker to come on Pick Central. He will uh, not we answer. We want answers. Yes. And then also, I get it. You can't, you can't prepare for weather and whatnot but i mean this is ridiculous they couldn't find them a plane but you can prepare where you like if it was you you see it's going to be pretty shitty out tuesday maybe let's leave monday and tuesday. did you see my tweet from the sleep performance uh guy no okay so todd anderson he used to be uh used to play in the nfl as a fullback dying breed and then also he was at michigan state he married a u.s olympic swimmer he runs a sleep performance company. So I DM'd him immediately when I woke up 7 a.m. I was DMing him. And he hit me back. And Ev told me that he legitimately gasped when I <laughs> when he read it. I mean, I talk, I said as a as a UConn, as a UConn future better and a fan, we're in lockstep on this. This is a travesty what's um, happening. UConn also are Huskies. This is also good though. In a, in a we'll get there, but right. this is no, read a, this, right now this, bad. No, yeah. we need no, what to. What this man said scared the daylights out of my. There any way we could pull it up on? It's this. on my Twitter. If uh, for Dukes. Dukes, okay. So I go to hey, yo Todd Anderson. When is the most important sleep for an athlete before a game? I know you've done a video on this before. They are screwing over UConn. Their game is on Saturday at 9:30 p.m. Thanks to flight delays, they got into Arizona today at 6:30 a.m. His first response was, "Damn." <laughs> That's not good. Rule of thumb, it takes a beat. W- rule of thumb, it takes one day for every time zone to adjust. Th- so three days, assuming nothing crazy happened. That's before the delays. But the fact they got delayed and we were up all night, that could linger and mess up their sleep cycle beyond Saturday for sure. All of these losers and science deniers on Twitter too are saying, "Oh, it's 62 hours before the game." Hey guys, we have been studying sleep for performance for a very long time and this is not good listen to this study this is a real study from stanford okay this is a real study from stanford listen to this where is it yep this is from todd anderson he runs the company dream recovery i love this guy he's a great guy there was a study done at stanford on basketball specifically when players were well slept 10 hours, free throw percentage increased by 9% and three-point field goal percentage increased by 9.2% compared to an average of seven-ish hours a night. People have been studying this for a very long time. Sleep is the most important thing for these players. And the NCAA wanted to screw over UConn and the Big East one last time. Look at Dan Hurley. <laughs> Exhausted. Also, there's a video of Andrew Hurley, who, by the way, UConn 68 and 0 or something when he plays. Coming off the plane, you would have thought this man was sleep deprived. They have him flying Allegiant? That's the other thing. That's the only one they, they could find, Charlie. <laughs> oh, my God. That's brutal. 
Like, wh- why are they doing that? Is that a, is that a UConn thing? That's no, harder, NCAA. Right? Like, that, NCAA booked the flight, Clemmer. It's for allegiance? Was it just them? It's, it's a travesty. Why is happening this happening? To the Huskies? They, there was multiple people from the travel team that couldn't get there. Obviously, the players could, but these are important people. I don't care if it's the to- the towel guy. The towel guy is important to winning a national champion a championship. We know this. It's it's the little things in this team, and they're trying to kill them. Can I can I ask you a question, Jack Mack? Why? What is? What is the? Why is this happening? Why is the NCAA against UConn in your mind? Well, it, I, I, I have no idea. To be completely honest, I think they see that this little school in Stores, Connecticut, and then the Big East. I mean, they screwed over the Big East in the tournament selection already. Yep. They don't want the Big East winning again. They know they have two super conferences now: the Big Ten and the SEC. And NC State, I mean, is essentially in their plans for the future of college sports. ACC. Then you have Alabama. SEC. Then you uh, then you have Purdue. Big Ten. And then it's UConn. Little old UConn. I think UConn's bad for men's basketball. They're beating up on people too much. Uh, they, they, they see it. And here's the thing. We won't stand for it. We have to fight back. And the NCAA has to answer these questions. And then, listen to this. Obviously, today's media day. They said, we're working on adjustments. What do you mean working on? There should be no working on. UConn is not going to media day today. I That's the bottom line. agree with that. They are not going to media day I today. I agree with that. No, they it's should, 100% right. They should go tomorrow. It, yeah, and if Jane from the Iowa Gazette needs to talk to somebody <laughs> from UConn, she can go to the hotel. We'll set up a little room. No, I don't actually even think that's true. It should just be Friday. Uh, they should get today completely Talk to Zach Eady. Like, talk to the most boring team in America. Jack, are you <laughs> mad at people like this? <clears throat> yes. They, Greg Ward, I also quote tweeted somebody. These science deniers that people are looking at, like, sleep is so important. It's everything. Little things count. I just, I just cited a study from Stanford. Stanford, their studies... I, I would assume F1, those teams, they probably spend millions of dollars working on sleep performance. And also, they have to sleep in hotel beds. Nobody sleeps well in hotel beds. <laughs> Did you see these besides, beds they gave besides them? Besides Rico Bosco, he, he does. <laughs> he, uh, he actually says that. And then Rico is another one that we need to. I'm pretty sure you going to choose their departure day. Shut up, Joe Corona. I mean, awful last name. <laughs> do we know is, is that do we know 100% that UConn did not choose that departure date? That is something we do not know for sure, but okay. I w- we want answers. Yeah, but, but couldn't UConn answer that though? Well, here's the thing, they're sleeping. <laughs> no, but like couldn't someone from the school be like, "Hey, we did choose to leave at this time." Like oh, right I don't know. Now, right now everyone's on their side. All I shit. all I know is Dave Benedict, who is a great athletic dir- a director. He said last night, I need to get the exact quote. No, oh, yeah, this whole this whole thing is. I'm gonna get the exact quote from Dave Benedict. Why college sports are the best? Because also, it's just when, when Jack's looking this up, Rico going on the rundown, right? Rico saying like, "Oh, Alabama, like UConn can't run with Alabama." Dan Hurley waiting around in the airport all last night. There's, I think it's like an 85 percent chance that Dan Hurley uses Rico as motivation for UConn. Okay, one thousand <laughs> percent. I have kidding. the quote. I know you, you're not kidding. Dukes is right. And also, Jeff D. Lowe, he follows Jeff D. Lowe on Twitter. He put out a video, and if he was probably scrolling Twitter, like Duke said. This is from athletic director Dave Benedict, okay? This is from last night when he was on uh, with uh, the Field of 68. He was live. All of the schools in the Power Five, this goes to what I was saying about whatnot, made it here no problem. This is supposed to be a championship experience. None of this has been a, a championship experience. That's a direct quote from the athletic director. If he, like, I mean, this is a smart guy. This is a man that's probably, he's been around the block. I have a question. Yeah. Last year, too. Was UConn and boosters and all the money that's coming into that school allowed to deviate from the NCAA and charter their own place this is, once things, like, looked. This is why we want Charlie Baker on the line. I don't think you're, like, you might not be allowed to because it's, like. They booked the know. travel. Yeah, like, because they booked the travel. And what, like, are they going to do disqualify him? I guess it's also hard. They almost to did today. I mean, that's a, that's an up, that's an that's a catastrophe. That's an uproar. But also, like, that plane they were on is, like, a huge – like, that's probably – if you get a private plane or whatever, it's going to be smaller and even harder to get out, right? And also, 
this these are things there the reason that they had to wait was because the plane had to land in missouri kansas city because of an issue with like the flight and then the working hours of the flight attendants and whatnot it can only go, can a, only certain go a certain hour See. and guess what guess what this all comes back to something i've been talking about for a very long time they they don't have enough pilots they don't have enough flight attendants and you know why I won't say, you know why, okay? I'm looking right at the camera. If you have a brain, you know why the flight industry is falling apart. Thank you, Mayor Pete. Thank you, vaccination rules. These are things that are all connected, and people have been calling me crazy for a long time. And you it's know not what? the pilots are retiring at a record amount because they're a production price. It's also the airline companies are cheap and won't pay people their yeah. proper wages. Um, and also, a lot of what are a lot of airplane uh, people that fly airplanes? Pilots. pilots? Yeah, what are they? Boy, Dukesy. <laughs> no, what are they? Oh, 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 they're union. No, ex-military. An ex-military that a lot of those people look up. How many people? I don't want to make this into a vaccination, um, uh, whatnot. People that have been screwed over and lost jobs. How did this happen? People, because what, it's all. What connected. are we talking? Wait, what happened? What road? No, no, I, what are we I'm, talking? I'm, about? You guys, they would have had enough. There would have been enough flight. The enough flights. Pilots. The pilots and the flight, flight attendants. Or how about UConn has some fucking sling dick and alumni? How about Darren Lovsky use some of that fucking money he's making now and just gets him a plane because he cares about his fucking alumni? People were trying to help. This is a. This was a huge team. There's hundreds of people on the team. What do you mean? There's hundreds of people on the team. There's 15 players and and, and tw- coaches 20 and coaching staff. staff. Coaching that, that's staff. 50 people. Coaches, training staff. Um, boosters. There's boosters. There's 50, uh, okay, dude, the boosters can't fucking provide. Dan Hurley. They were, no, Dan no, Hurley no. travels with his wife. Some people don't. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> Doc Rivers didn't oh. allow Tim Duncan. <laughs> Good point. Wow. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. I, no, this is fun. Are you talking um, about somebody in the final the plane, four? They don't. Yeah. I, I, about by the way, that was not. That was about somebody in the final four. Nobody. That, if if you know, you know. That's yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure we could figure. The te- now it'll be a team they're playing. But uh, to, to Smitty's point, though, you can fly the players. No, boot. No, I agree 100. percent All those guys, the towel guys, all those guys play a role for sure. But you can fly them out the next day. I would be I would be most concerned about getting my players there on time, my coaches on time so they can get that proper sleep. Which you're absolutely right about. They were they were trying last night. I mean he was live on air with the field of sixty eight saying like, hey, I can't be here for that long. We're trying to make things work and they couldn't. It's very hard. And also, sorry, we don't have as much money as an SEC or Big Ten school. Like we don't. They don't. Like this is a this is a small little state school in a farm town. Like, sorry that they, they – like. How much money did the school bring in from winning the national championship last year? Well, a lot. And, I mean, mm-hmm. you, you probably couldn't – and guess what it went to? It went to building new science, uh, science buildings, engineering buildings, getting better dorms. And these are all the things, all the people, Harry, Dick, and Sally saying, oh, those sports don't do anything for me. Da, 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 da. Nobody's denying that. Nobody's denying that. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not. But – and I'm not saying that UConn isn't getting fucked. They are. They are, but the, the the fact that there's no solution that they can bring upon themselves to get them out there, I find I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's true. I just find it hard to believe. It's insane that they flew Robert Kraft's private plane last year to the Final Four, exactly, and, and then Allegiant Air this year. It is it's really that is insane. insane. It's like, it's insane. It's, I want to say that again. Insane. insane. That is that is <laughs> crazy. crazy. But I also do love like now that I'm just like a fan of college basketball. All the teams in the final, besides one team in the Final Four. Like I, I, it's funny to be like now UConn has another thing to be like it's us against the world. Now they have a it's legitimate like, one. They're it's not them against the world. It's just like they're better than everybody. But now it kind of has a reason, you know. Like Hurley's been saying this all the whole. They had the hardest draw, whatever, blah blah blah. This one now they actually have a legit reason. They might be Alabama. I might do alternate line of twenty. I, I hope, and then so. <laughs> also then your guy, Larry David, mad at Hurley for coaching when he was up 30, was disgusting. No, that's, no, that, he's right. I don't even know what he said, but he's right. What did he say? He was, yeah, he was chirping Hurley. Yeah, good. That's disgusting. This Sportsman is why. Sh- no, this is, get the fuck out of here. Are you going to believe that? This is why UConn plays when they're up 30, because you never know. They could just change the rules on it. They could. <laughs> there's, there's my guy. Here this he is. Was, this is what I was talking about when I was like, oh, like I think that what Rico said, and you guys kind of like, well, maybe. I'm dead serious. He has people reading tweets. So just watch this clip. I, saw, I read a tweet last night, I think from a former Illinois player, um, 
I don't know, Sean Harrington, or who's, a, who's a good player, is a McDonald's All-American, one of the staff members, wanted to add a little more fuel to my fire, a little, um, you know, something, you know, UConn has not had to play against um, this physical a team, and they've never seen someone like Terrence Shannon, uh, something along those lines, and, uh, um, you know, statements like that are just asinine. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're going against... Uh, beasts and monsters every night in the Big East, and the Big East prepared us for teams like Illinois. Oh, it's not. Going off that, what did Bosco say? UConn can't run with Alabama. He, uh, also he ain't listening to Bosco. I could tell you. Uh, no, no, he I, might. I, I, I think that I, I could tell you, shows up on his timeline. It, no, he might have seen it, but it'd be like, that was Rico Bosco. Like, I think that. I think you're see, downplaying that. I think you're downplaying no, how you're a psycho. Bro, is. Sean Harrington? I honestly want Dukes in my corner. <laughs> I know. I was going to say, Dukes has his guy. You got to like no, that. No, no, no. no this is. He, is, I respect that. Uh, what, I, I, I tweeted, I want that to happen. Like, I want Rico to look like a fucking idiot. Well, no, I don't think it, Rico's going to look like an idiot no matter what. By the way, if Rico. Rico's so much better. If Rico wore or packed that white jumpsuit he got from UConn and he wears it on Monday, I, 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 like, I hope he doesn't come back. <laughs> I hope he's like. I he, agree. And he can't say Dan Hurley's his guy. I'm so sick of it. He's got to pick his one team's in it. He's got to pick. Oh, this is I it. I think he can root for UConn if they win. No, you can. Mm. Oh, my no chance. God. Zero I don't know. Dayton that. was in the fucking Final Four, and you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. This no, is no. his team. He can't be like Dan Hurley's my guy. He can't be like UConn's can't my guy. Root for UConn. I think he can root for Dave's bet. I think he has to root for Dave's bet. That's different. I don't know if Dave will root for Dave's for bet. Is, all I know is, is fine, but. I think Dave and Big Cat are really locked in on destroying. Oh my Moscow. God, yeah. <laughs> this is like going to be. This is like, I know they're trying to. Obviously, it's a big event and whatnot. But they they want to take his soul. It was funny yesterday. He was like he already. He's like oh, I'm trying to get guests. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> I was like I don't know if they're like really. They might be. I don't know unless they said it to him. But he's just talking about guests already. And I'm like, isn't it like far away? He he wanted to get Devin Booker. <laughs> How's Bosco gonna get Devin? Oh, aim high. That's good for him. <coughs> he yeah. called Riggs to ask for Justin <coughs> Thomas. The Masters are next week. Shoot for the stars. <laughs> That's actually my idea. But he was like, he went. <laughs> no, 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 Bad idea. He, he was fishing for a guest, and I was like, Justin Thomas went to Alabama. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Is that sabotage, Ev? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe part so. of your brain that un unknowingly probably yeah, was a little sabotage. Yeah. I wouldn't. I also. I just wouldn't mind. I'm wouldn't mind meeting Justin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Apple will be on the show. No, honestly, the only reason I said it was because Riggs lives there, and I know Riggs like knows him. So I was like, any big Bama oh. fan, I was like, maybe he come. I don't know. Oh, Devin. It was a week before, I don't Devin know. Devin Booker will be there. That'll be, uh, <laughs> no Booker. I didn't suggest Booker. Justin Thomas. I did. I was like, oh, I know you Bama. didn't. But no, that's trying to get Anthony Edwards. I know. Whatever. I know. Like <laughs> I know. He said like he's been trying to get somebody. I forget who the Suns are playing this week. The Suns are playing, I think. Timberwolves and Pelicans. Oh, and let me guess. Because he could he's gonna call Luca Gaza and no, tell Luca Gaza no, to get him. No, no. When Pat Bev came in the office, he's like, yo, could you get like Ant? Like Ant Ed? And, and let me Ant guess. Ed's. Pat Bev said yes, and Pat Bev's not nah, It was so it, uh, no no, but I think the funny part, like the way, what reason I'm telling it is this might have been in like August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and he was already planning for the Timberwolves Suns game. Like, who's gonna be on town in town for like Radio Row? That's good preparation. Hey, boy, Rico. I agree. That's like that. Yeah. No, he's Some a moron. Say, yeah. No, he's, he's he's shooting for the stars. I I applaud Rico Bosco for yeah, that. Yeah, he said something yesterday too about the, oh, and then he said, I think the Timberwolves are playing on Friday. Oh, do you have a show on Saturday too? Saturday and Monday. So Saturday, he was saying they play on Friday, and then he said, all right. He called somebody up and said, if they want to stop by before they take their flight. To, I think they're playing in L.A. the next day. Let let me know. Like, that was one of his – I don't know who he was on the phone with, but he said, like, let, let me know. I'm sure they can stop cool. by. I th it was somebody. I forget who it was that he was like, if this player wants to stop by, he, let me know. He mentioned know. something to me about going to the Sun game on Sunday because we got nothing going on Sunday. Well, he says he'll be the toast of the town on Sunday. I, I, I said, sure, if you, if you get tickets. I was like, yeah, I'll go. We got, unless we got nothing going on that I know of on Sunday. On Sunday, who the ne who the Suns playing? Yeah, I, I think, think the Pelicans. Pelicans. I think he said. So I don't know. Maybe maybe some of Mincy's connections, those Pels hookups. Yeah, he'll, I'll guarantee Luca Garza will be called on Friday about 
going to or stopping by Saturday. Is Luke Hall on the T Wolves yeah. right now? Not the G League. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Wait, one last question, well, Jack, for you. Okay. okay. So let's say the worst happens for you. UConn loses. Uh, yeah. Against Alabama. How angry? From a sports level, like one to ten. Now you th- that would have taken away your chance to repeat, which is so rare in sports. Like if you I guys be lose devastated. because of this, because of this fiasco, I would be devastated. I'm a little bit more concerned about if they win on Saturday, Monday. I think they can they can push through Saturday, Sunday. The effects of sleep are so massive; it's science. How mad would I be? I think the most disappointed I've ever been was 2006, Carlos Beltran. And then uh, when Antonio Brown caught that pass against the Jets on third and seven, Big Ben, Steelers, AFC Championship. Oh, yeah. And I think the most disappointing, and I've never recovered from it, was when the Jets lost that game to the Bills when they had to get into the playoffs. And it was to Rex Ryan. Fitzpatrick? Ryan. Yeah. And then um, I think, who was it down the sideline that had the Hail Mary almost caught? I forget who, but Ryan Fitzpatrick played an awful game. It was after they beat the Patriots. It was. It was. That was the last time I think I really cared. This one, obviously, I care about UConn um, and whatnot. But like, I mean, obviously, growing up in Connecticut and whatnot, you you you've seen them win. I've never seen the Jets or Mets win. No, okay, That's yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 understandable. Because um, and I I mean, honestly, it's so fake that UConn's even won the number of championships that they've won. I didn't go to the school and whatnot. There's connections that I'll never have with the school. Hey, it doesn't matter. I know it's. It doesn't matter. But like, I I know that. The UConn, even, let's say like they even lose on Saturday, it would stink. But I really care about it more from like I have a huge bet on them to win the national championship. It's I really like, want Purdue and UConn anyway. I, I think everyone wants that. I really don't think they're going to lose on Saturday. Okay. Like I'm like almost – I see um, no chance. Zero. I've said that before, but this one's not my team, and I actually see no chance. There's always a chance. It's just Bama getting hot from three. That's right. I am like 90, 95 percent. Like, even if they interval. do, no. Listen, I'm not saying if they get hot from three, they definitely win. I'm just saying that's their. That's and that's if they go nuclear, they like win. maybe they could steal it. I would say. Yeah. Rico said on the rundown yesterday, we'll take 66 threes, and that's that's how we'll win. And then he's like, we're shooting 30 whatever percent. I was like, that's 22 made threes, and he said, yeah, that's how we're gonna win. And then I said, what's your final score? His final score is 94 to 87. 22 or t- made threes is 66 points. Where's the other 30 points coming from? Klingon's going to be such a problem for them. I don't understand how. Like, I even think Samson Johnson will be an issue for them. Yeah. Everybody's a problem for them. What are we talking about? Like, no, I know, but no, like, no, saying, like, Sears at- is a problem too. Like, we have to give them a little credit, but like. UConn's also like. Yeah, they have people that can defense. guard Sears. Castle. Well, 100%. Castle's to, going to yeah, make they have people Sears that life 100%. hell. 100%. I'm just saying we have to give like, them they a little have credit. No, they have no one that can match up with Klingon in the post. I mean, Castle. Zero. Castle oh, literally made Terrence Shannon question if he wants to continue playing basketball. Just turn himself in. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more thing. Time. Somebody in the chat said this, and I, if, if, when, or I'll say when, when UConn wins, Rico's in the funniest predicament because he either has to go against UConn in the national championship, or he has to ride Davis' bed. And if UConn loses, he will legitimately be in the terror dome for life. But he's all, he's been in the terror zone right, forever. You know his, his, like, his life has been a terror. Yeah. Right, but like if he does, <laughs> if he roots for UConn and hops on the bet at the last minute, basically, like, and they lose, that's worse. If he packed that white jumpsuit, honestly, that he <laughs> says it was game <laughs> worn, and he shows up to the stream on Sunday on Monday in it, and UConn was lucky enough to beat Alabama, I th- I'll be concerned. I, that would be the first time I've ever been concerned. No, Jack Mack, he he will. Like he's going to. I'll be concerned. Like, there's no care like, about yeah. Alabama. I don't. I, I don't. I don't have any like inside info that he took the suit. I just know Bosco. I speak fluent Bosco. He brought the suit. Trust me. He doesn't care. He brought about UConn Alabama. gear he just care. in case. This team may be so good that it won't matter, but Bosco could be the downfall. I mean, Purdue is definitely like the Purdue's hardest good. matchup they'll have. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm not Purdue. I'm not. Here's the thing. Like uh, Bama fans have been tweeting at me saying, "Oh, you're overlooking us." I haven't even thought about Purdue. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, when they play, I'm like, oh, this team. Oh, but just Bama, it's just. Uh... Purdue will be intriguing. Yeah, that's Purdue a good could game. Purdue definitely be UConn, I think. A hundred percent. Right now, the lines, by the way, uh, they have it for both. So Alabama and UConn is eleven and a half, um, and then <laughs> Purdue and UConn is five and a half. Yeah, that makes favorite. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. No, it's gonna be a good weekend. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. See you, Thanks, Jack. Jack. Oskies. Is everyone on the same? Is everyone just UConn Purdue? I mean, I think, like, I, 
it'd be I just Duke said it the other day, I'm worried about Burns. I mean, they just can't put him on E D. They can't. They won't. He's gonna get two fouls in two it's seconds. They the just fastest they foul just out can't they, the but I think they just know better. They just can't. He just can't be the one that guards him. But they won't because you like, need that's you, no. you need Burns' offensive game. So you yeah, just the can't other have guy on N C State will cover him on on defense. I think he's gonna have to. Fact. They're gonna just have to. I, I unfortunately think this fairy tale's over. I think you Purdue's gonna blow it. Yeah, I, I kind of think so too. I hope not, but I think they are. Too. I thought I thought Duke was I thought Duke was gonna be the end of fairy tale too, and that's U- what we saw that worked out. So UConn and Purdue futures for national championship game minus two sixty. Yeah, that's, it's just. Like, I mean, they're both, they're a twelve point favorite and a nine point. Wow, favorite. Really, final yeah, four is not great. But the final two could be good. Oh yeah, that'd be. I mean, it literally would basically be the two best. Edie, Edie kind of deserves a spot to I, really I, show it. I would love to see yeah. him against. I'd like to see. Well, Klingon well. too. It's Klingon's the one guy in college basketball that can actually match up with him. He's like seven two and big. Like yeah. he really can go body to body with him and actually like give him problems on defense. Are we all rooting for UConn? Uh, I just have a future, so I'm like, I, my money is invested in UConn. So yeah, I, I definitely am. am. I, can we just acknowledge that Jack Mack went off the rails there? Yeah, but that's Jack Mack. Okay. Well, yeah, I, uh, I got that was it. exhausting. And, and it all did. I knew. I did. I I, w- I stayed with him like it was due to the. There's less people flying and less people. No, uh, flight he's attendants. Insane, and, but I, was, I figured it was gonna. Yeah. It was gonna go. Have money for 20 minutes. You can take a weird left turn. It's just gonna happen. Might right not be turn. wrong. Right turn. Might not right be turn. Wrong. <laughs> right. A hard right turn. A right turn, not a left turn. Uh, right, 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 right. I don't think he makes lefts. <laughs> so U- UConn. Just a quick personal story about UConn. UConn was my biggest client. My previous job uh and they were very good to me so um and obviously you know but like they were just they were not like made a lot of money off them and they were good to me and uh so i always kind of pull for uconn thanks thanks for that I, i'm just saying that <laughs> well, i don't have a lot to add with the college basketball but it was a personal story oh, that you. i like uconn and you know it's like yeah, go for them i'm rooting for them and i'm sad that they had to fly a legion because that no one should have to do that um no yeah i don't i no one will be rooting for purdue i could tell you that no one likes Purdue. no like yeah. no one likes Watching ED, I'm starting to like to watch ED because everyone hates it so it's, much. It's unfortunate. I, I am rooting for Purdue to get there. I can't root for them. No, I'm rooting for Purdue to get there. If I don't I'd know have a about... future on UConn, I could see myself rooting for Purdue. I, I just UConn is like weirdly likable. I don't know why either because they're kind of assholes on the court. They just I like Hurley. Their team really huh? isn't though. I like Hurley, but that's the thing. People, I love Hurley, but. He's if, also he. If he ever started losing, people will not like Cam him. Cam Spencer can be like the most hateable player coach duo. Yes, but they don't. Even Cam people. Spencer isn't really like. Hey, I wouldn't dude, even say he's people hate, fucking dude. Hate him. He's a piece of shit. Not a piece of shit. Uh, he's a like on the court. He's an ass. But, but I'm. But when I say people hate him, I'm saying like there's not. I don't think there's like this big public narrative of like. Ah, uh, it's. it's I, th- kind of there. I think you're. But that's deep in the weed no. shit. I don't. No, dude, I think you're off here. I really do. No, I just I, don't. I, I, equally, I think I'm you're not even. Off. I think I, like, I just every, don't think there's this big like. Oh my god, like I hate Kim Spencer. Like I don't pe- think that's a big people narrative. That, people that play against him fucking hate him. Well, no, sure, sure, but I'm saying that's like deep in the weeds. If, play, if more, he like, put on a Duke jersey, players, he, if he played, did what he did, and he had a Duke jersey on, he'd be the most hated player in the country. No, prob- no, probably, but he, that's my thing. Like, he's not, and I don't think. When, like I think even the casual college basketball fan like barely even doesn't even like really know who he is. Kim Spencer. I, casual college basketball fan? I don't, I don't yeah, think Yeah, really no, I think you're poo-pooing him a little bit too much. I mean, Cle- I, Clemmer I just know. gave me, like, I have no idea who yeah. that Clemmer is. Clemmer is I'm, I'm, be, I'm lower like than casual. casual. I'm not even casual. Yeah, but I really, I'm just saying, I really. Uh, yeah, UConn like, uh, Clemmer likes UConn because he was a former client. They were nice. <laughs> 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 no, I, I just don't think there's and I think big, I, like, I like Hurley. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I remember his brother playing. I think Cam Spencer is more well-known in UConn than, like, Castle. Yes. And yes. Castle's gonna be a top five. Uh, I think a hundred percent. I think a hundred percent. Castle's more known. I mean, uh, I think it's close. Exactly. I don't know. I think they're pretty like similar in terms of like uh, well-known notoriety. I guess. No, because Castle does isn't an asshole. No, he's court. not. He's definitely not. But like, Cam Spencer's uh, but I think going he, like this. I think he matches. It. I think he's just like a, he's a big time like prospect and lottery pick. What I mean by this is like yeah, fan bases that played Cam Spencer this year like I, I forget like there was one team that played at the Garden fucking hated him. On the biggest stage, when all the casuals are watching, everybody's watching the Final Four, if Cam Spencer does something, like does the fist pump, like does the shit claps in someone's face, everyone's going to know him as an asshole. Well, yes, but I'm saying that hasn't, but that hasn't like happened yet on like this huge, because he really has been up 30. He has, he has, no, that's what, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, but I'm, that's all things that I think. But the, during the season, he was, from, he no, the, was. Like, the big, but I'm, I'm saying people like in the biggest people, sure. 
But I just don't think the, there's there's like public narrative like oh like Cam Spencer like fuck this guy like what an asshole like I think a lot of people like don't really know who he is. I I don't I I don't agree, but it's it's our opinions. Um, let's go to baseball now. Um, oh, actually, let's go to. Sorry for your loss, Julius Randle. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. That actually does. It was it was weird because I kind of like you. Phil had a big Meek Phil had a big reaction to it. I that was it, Meek it, Phil. It, that was Meek Phil. We yeah. Just, oh my. I was, was, we had just shot a thing about the Oakland A's and we're really walking hey, out of one of those little parties. The Meek's Mets haven't won a game. <laughs> Meek Meek's in shambles. I mean, look, is he back there? No, he's uh, no. doing. Uh, you got to believe, ironically. Oh. <laughs> yeah, won a game. I mean, yeah. When they're losing this much, yeah. I, I feel I feel for Meek. I feel for me. It's tough. Just easy to take a shower. I, I don't, you take a shower of life. I don't feel right bad now. For me. Just get clean. <laughs> but this is tough. When you're I mean, a troll, you don't get you don't get happy. That's also true. So it's like. But the Knicks have been like come, something that have actually been have been good to them. Like they've been good to us. Like they it just. They've been all right. So if more he, than our standards are not like our like this is this is the best that's ever been for us. Yes. So if and this it, is not like this is elite for Knicks fans. If he elected to get shoulder surgery two months ago, he would still be out. Yeah, yeah, that's well. what they said. He, okay. That's why he was trying. It was worth a shot. He was trying yeah. real like that. I, I I think I'd said this to you, Smitty. This might ring up, but I was almost like preemptively worried about it, like going back months ago, because I thought he was going to put off the surgery, like he said he was going to try to work back with rehab. I thought he was going to play and be hindered by the shoulder injury, not play well, yeah. and then get trashed again by Knicks fans. Which I hate they've trashed him for playoff performances. The one a few years ago, he was really bad. Last year, he was up and down. I get it. But he still has been like a, a core player that's helped build this team has been why I think guys like Brunson have even like wanted to come here in the first place. He was kind of the first guy that came. When, and when he came, people weren't like static about I can't, him. I can't even imagine trying to – power through a shoulder like that's what I'm saying. That's a he, big man and in basketball that it, is miserable and yeah just brutal and i i really i didn't have a huge huge reaction to it because i just really didn't think he was going to come back or if he did it was not going to be he was not going to be anywhere near 100 percent. so it was yeah. going to be isn't there also like struggle four games left five but we have the, the whole playoffs oh, i understand playoffs. i understand but that's also very hard when you're out for three months to come back with a shoulder well, i think that's like why it just got be, to a point where he was yeah. really trying to it's, that's where like i'm saying wasn't. the reaction where it's like you kind of didn't expect him to come back and if that's why i didn't have a i didn't scream about it because i just yeah. i didn't really expect him to play in the playoffs to be honest I yeah that's was, why i was like, i thought it was unlikely yeah but it still just sucks because i i just think with him and of course it's it, with him and og i think our potential was like truly to like make a run at the Celtics, like, I really like. Not that I think we, like I thought we at least had a chance, had a chance in the East. So this this makes it tough. I think we can definitely win a playoff series still, maybe what, two. Dude, you didn't think they have a chance with them? No, I think they're. I think I think he's right to like be like a chance. Well, of course, there's a chance. I, I saw obviously, listen, the Celtics are the prohibitive favorite, no matter who was on yeah. the team, yeah. healthy, whatever. Dude, obviously, Celtics, NBA obviously. Uh, locked, obviously. locked home court throughout the playoffs. NBA uh, best record, right? Yep, you know, obviously they're great. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you God. guys. I mean, you guys should absolutely <laughs> roll through the playoffs this year. This is the year. I think it is. Yeah. It, this it has to be the year, right? I, think, I believe so. It does. I believe How many championships have you guys won since 2008? Off Twitter? Zero. What okay. About the, what about the Sixers? How many on Twitter? What about oh, the Sixers? but but here's hey, the difference. Hey, hey, Dukes, 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 here's the difference. Hey, I know the Sixers hey, are hey, fucking hey, hey, trash. Hey, here's the difference. Here's the difference. Here's I know the Sixers hey, are trash hey, for the past hey, decade. You can't. So you guys act like you won multiple championships over the last 15 fucking years. No, you act like that. No. What do you mean? I acted like that. I know the process is fucked. A, it's bullshit that you bring up the 2008 thing because I was an adult there. The last time the Sixers won, I was three. I wasn't even born. Yeah, so, three. So you can't say shit. What do you mean? I can't say. I didn't say shit. I know you this. Did. You did say shit. I know the like, Sixers oh, are the shit. Last time the Celtics won since 2000. Because you guys act you. like you guys win every year. Oh. Like 2008 well, you know what? Compared to you, never acted like the Sixers have won. Compared to the Sixers, they don't. Compared to the Sixers, we have won every year. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah, thank but you, you haven't. Oh. I appreciate that. I did, I just had like an out of body experience that I that I realized. Yankees fans and Celtics fans are doing like a one of the Spider-Man yeah. right now. I just had a moment. I was like, 100%. I literally, I literally just was like, oh my God, that's me with the Yankees. Like, 100%. Talking about, like, about who's better. Like, you haven't done shit in forever. 100%. Yankees also. 2009. Oh, it's one year off, but 
like we're that, good in the season. But, I, but I've done that Clemmer thing with the Yankees where it's like, who are like, what are we showing for? Who are you and the Orioles fans? No, like, but he brought it up. up. I don't agree I know, with that, dude. Brought, they shouldn't hang up. a banner for last hey, year. Banner, they shouldn't hang a banner for hang last the banner. year. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. Just just hung hung out of nowhere? Congrats. Yeah, they did. They hung like a flag. I don't mind. I don't agree with that. Phillies do a really good job of history in that ballpark. I'm going to give the Phillies a pass. mind that? That's not. You're just like, hey, let's just trash franchises just out of nowhere. <laughs> hey, they used to shit on Bill Russell's bed during the 60s. What are you, yeah. what are you talking about? You guys are fucking scumbags. <laughs> what, are you, what is that? What what are you, you're just bringing up random shit. Dukes is throwing fucking banners. What did I do? Why are you, I, 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 get the, I said, that's fine with the Phillies. You, tra- you came at me for t- being no, a you Sixers came, fan. You came at me. Because you guys are trash on fucking Twitter every single year. You act like you win shit every single year. You haven't won shit since 2008. <laughs> It's fucking annoying. Ev is right. You guys are the Yankees without the history. Actually, oh, no, yeah, no, you're, you're wrong, motherfucker. You are the Yankees. You have the yeah, history. No shit. History. Yes. Yeah, what do the Sixers have? Not, I, this isn't about the Sixers. I am aware the Sixers are trash. Okay. We're beating a dead body. Good. It's fun. <laughs> what do you mean? You're fucking a dead body and you love it. You love it, you necrophiliac. Hey. <laughs> also, I'm going to come either way, motherfucker, and you're not doing yeah, it. Hey, you're going to come. You're going to come. You're going to come. You're dead. dead. Yeah, six Sixers. Oh, you're going to you fuck me back in Sixers' body again, and you're going to come, and you're going to get your fucking dick cut off by the Miami Heat once again. We'll see about Congratulations. that. Congratulations. Well, they got to get out of the playing games first. We'll see about Jimmy that. Jimmy Butler's going to eat your dick off. Uh, we'll see about that. Have have fun uh, have fun golfing in May. We pause. So uh, also, what just, a wild just, sequence that was. Jason Tatum. Hey, wait, wait a second, Dukes. I'm sorry. I don't understand how I'm getting shit on. You started this. Wait, wait, can, can I can I finish? Clever, can I finish? Talk to me like an adult. I don't understand why I'm getting shit on for being a Sixers fan when I know the Sixers haven't won anything, and I admit that. Because you start, you came at us. You came, you came because you guys act nowhere. like you what? You guys Spitty. act like it's the '60s. I Spitty. didn't say any. We didn't say anything. You Spitty. came at us. Un, 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 let me make provoked. Let me make shit. Play you for a started second. all of this. You you came at the Celtics. For no our, reason. Our only defense is not to like support the Celtics because we're. You're right. We should have won one by now. Yes. Our only defense is to shit on your loser franchise. You, you that, know, your defense is to win a title for once. No, but, uh, well, maybe that, when you that, act that, like it. He wrapped up home. Like, what more can we do? We're I don't know. We have to win a title. We're still ahead of schedule. Okay. How old was Michael Jordan when he won his first title? In 92. So he would have been 29. He was 91. 28. Yeah. yeah. How old is Jason 90, Tatum yeah. and Jalen Brown? Both younger than 28. Congratulations. Let's compare James everybody to Michael Jordan because that's no, but like, 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 no, but like, but you, you out of nowhere though, you brought the Celtics. I would, yeah. I didn't say shit about the Sixers. I, I said congratulations for clinching home court advantage throughout the playoffs and best record in the NBA. But you were being like shitty, for, and then you're like, oh, you haven't won. You brought, you brought up not having won. I, uh, no, neither Dukes or I said anything. 2008. You started it was all so of this. Long ago. You made this entire mess. You're all right. Thank the, you. The Phillies flag was funny. <laughs> Hang the banner, <laughs> Hey, you know what? The Phillies do. We're talking about worst losses of my lifetime. That's that's number two. The Phillies do a better job of history in the Phillies? Mets do right now. The Phillies breakdown last year yeah, at right. home against the Dynamax. Yeah, that's a number two in my lifetime. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> I. It is well just hanging one for like a, a a series win. Yeah, just burn the fucking like flag. I don't it. understand why you get down and burn it. Come on, you gotta. You gotta at least the guy on the, the guy who gotta, likes. I, them I think you gotta at least win, win the league, win like the pennant. You have win to the division, win division. It's the, but, but then, it, it, okay, so we're gonna go after the Phillies, and we gotta go after the Rays. You gotta go after the Mets. Like you know, yeah, we, sure. we have we have like you know, I, I think I think it's like modern sports is like kind of like would I appreciate if you only showed flags for winning either a pennant or a World Series title? Obviously, but this is not where we are right now. People want to be part of history. All right, bad. dudes, get it, get it. <laughs> it's fine. Like it's oh, fine. So I mean, like, oh, come on, this I'm is just... good old fashioned fun. Because <laughs> you said when you said hang the banner on Twitter, I was like, oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Meek, Phil, Meek, Meek Phil sent me that. He goes, tell Smitty, got you. <laughs> you just can't. You shouldn't be hanging that stuff. I I agree, but it's but it's like 2024 sports. This is where we are. We're in the. Imagine the Yankees. We, everyone gets a, everyone gets a trophy. This is where this is our society. The now. Yankees hung that. It'd be like World War. For winning the ALDS. No, but you guys have twenty seven. I understand, like, but that, like, it's just like you should. It's just whatever. I know. Um, I, I I I don't disagree, but this is where we are. So uh, before we go to baseball, because that <laughs> we've been how that happened. I, this happened from the from the Julius if the Randall. Knicks can beat the Celtics, right? Um, who else? So non Celtics. Who else do you think can win a championship? Oh, the Nuggets. Uh, I, I think obviously. a lot. Of, I think a lot of teams. Nuggets. I'll tell you who's struggling right now. 
Bucks lost two straight games, being favored by 13 and 12 points. Right the now. Wizards and the uh, Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Both are just a, I mean, they're like, they punt, literally punted the season. And Doc is a, uh, Doc's under 500, and he is now blaming uh, the, the travel crew. Saying that there's not a lot of professionalism when they're on the road. Once again, I always bring this up. Adrian Griffin. I don't know. Adrian That's Griffin, said. 30 and 13 with the Bucks. <laughs> Doc Rivers, 15 and 15. 30 and 13 versus 15 and 15. I'm just saying that's that's Glenn Rivers. Unbelievable. The I would say in the West, I mean the Nuggets definitely can. I think the Clippers potentially can. The Clippers 100 percent can. I, I don't think they want can. anyone saying that they can. Absolutely, Absolutely they can. There's a difference between can and will. Can when I say can, yeah, they have Clippers can. can. I would say There's another team you haven't said. I would even say oh, I know who you're thinking. They move they're playing really good they now. Are. Anyone says. Yeah. You're talking about your Mavericks. Yes. Yeah, they've been playing a lot better. Yeah, uh, they're in fifth in the West. Yep. Hmm. And they're and they're hot. 30, I, I don't know. And they're like on the fringe. Like can Luke is obviously so great. And Kyrie is. A, I think as much as people hate him, don't hate him. He, that, it's a special. I don't think like, they tandem. will, but they can. Uh, coming off a of clamor, fucking the dead body. Sixers got a big one tonight against the Heat. If they're able to get that six seed or even the seven seed, and. Uh, Getting the play, I mean, win the play in with the seven seed. They won't face the Celtics until the Eastern Conference Finals. I have a team. Nobody that, wants to face the Sixers with a healthy-ish Embiid. I have a team that I want to talk about after in a second, but but before we get to that, let's talk about Dave and Buster's. Last year, there were thirty-five personal fouls in the championship game. Wow. So this year, we're going F O W L for foul. With every foul. We're enjoying a chicken wing from Dave and Buster's. Oh, oh, all right. Mm. And with all you can eat chicken wings and a ten dollar power card starting at twenty two ninety nine every Monday and Thursday after four PM for the duration of the tournament, you can go foul for foul too. I like this. Terms and conditions apply. And don't forget throughout the tournament we're washing away your sorrows with two dollar beers and five dollar shots. Price and participation may vary. Two dollar oh. beers. $5 shots. I only drink shots, so I love that. Um, every Monday and Thursday throughout the tournament, Dave & Buster's is celebrating with all you can eat wings and $10 power, uh, power card starting at twenty two ninety nine. Terms and conditions may apply. I mean, if you watched uh, Jerry's stream, if you saw us during the uh, um, the Dave & Buster's, like our – our uh, pick, uh, Picking the teams for the yeah, picking bracket the teams, busters. Bracket busters. It's just no matter how old you are, those games don't get old, and oh. it is fucking awesome. I love Dave and Buster's. The food's great. The vibes are great. Bring your friends. Two dollar beers, five dollar shots. All you can eat wings. Foul for foul with the the uh, for wings and as a championship game. Make sure you go check out Dave and Buster's, and if you do, send it to us. We'll retweet it. We'll show everyone how great it is. Uh, shout out Dave and Buster's. Um, keep going with the Sixers. What's uh, what were you saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, they're playing the Heat tonight. Huge game. Uh, and Bede's questionable, of course. Maxi's questionable with a hip, but uh, it's a big game for seeding. And let's be honest, they 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 beat OKC. Yeah, OKC was resting two of their best players the other night, and Bede's return. Bead was limited, but you just see it, man. You just see it on the court. I think they were twenty eight and seven with Embiid this year, and. Uh, that's a 700 winning percentage, and I I, I, I forget the exact uh, record without him, but the winning percentage was like around 300. Like, oh, shit, you really do need to win this game. Jesus. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a huge difference. And if they can some way find a way to skate into the Eastern Conference Finals, I mean, which is a big deal because it would be the first one since 2001, finally getting past the second round, uh, against the Celtics, I mean, if they beats healthy, they can, they, can, they can at least give the Celtics a run. They, That's it. Let me tell you, the 76ers, um, win or lose today, they they can they got a no. I think they're getting the six seed. Favorable I, schedule. Yeah, I, I I think I think they'll they have this, the beat out the Pacers, Grizzlies, the Spurs, the Pistons, the Magic, who are good, and then the Nets. Like that's a. Easy yeah. schedule, so that or those five teams are lottery teams. You really need to get. Yeah. You don't want to play in that play-in game. But if they get if they get the six seed, they're playing the Cavs right now, who are three, who who they can obviously take, or maybe the uh, the, the Magic can jump them, and they they with Embiid they should beat the Magic. 
So. Yeah, that, that two to five is still, even with like a few games up for grabs. Yeah. Like, I think there's like two and a half games separating two to five. Yeah, I, I don't see the Knicks hopping up there. The Knicks are in five. The Knicks, we're, right now, like we're five with the yeah. Magic Four. We've lost a couple. But um, as long as, I'm not, I mean, the Magic, I'm not worried about playing. The I mean, the Cavs are literally, I'm I'm the Cavs' daddy. Knicks are, we own them. I'm not even like, that's not even a thought. I like I'm the Cavs, even, too. I'm not even worried about the Cavs. I, the lack of respect I have for the Cavs is almost startling. <laughs> like I have such little respect. Like I, they're just such a after. I just they're the three seed, and they're I just I'm so confident we play them in the first round. We win in like five or six games and get out. of I there. think the world needs to see Pacers Bucks some way somehow, and have the Pacers eliminate them. Honestly, who we real? I was gonna say if you guys end, if you guys ended up being the seven, is that you guys and Bucks would be all? I mean, it'd be Sixers, great. Sixers Bucks with them beat back would be incredible. It'd be great. I mean, the only team incredible I really, first round. You know, the, the only the only team that I would not feel confident against with a healthy Embiid is, is the Celtics. That's it. It's pretty crazy like that. The NBA the playoffs, East. it's almost 20 teams making the playoffs technically is yeah. insane. Like the the Hawks are 36 and 40, and they're just in the playoffs technically. But they're the 10, right? Yeah, yeah but it's still like the fact that they have a chance, what do you have to, what do you have to win? Two They'd games? have to win two games. They'd have to beat the nine and then oh, beat the, the – But the Bulls are 36 thing. and 40, and they're the nine seed. Yeah, they're also <laughs> awful. Like the, the West is at least like the Warriors are 41 and 34. Every team that make it will have a winning record. Even the Houston has a winning record at 11. Can I jump in really quick? I left when you guys talked about the Bucks. You know who they're missing really quick? Drew Drew really quick, what is it? Drew Holland. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Lost, lost a lot of defense on True, that. I think but also, like, position. yeah, Dame, Dame Lillard's also, like, I don't, I understand they are missing him, but, like, I don't care because you still got an amazing player. Yeah, I think people forget just how old Dame is, though. Yeah, no, they do. It's just, I, I, I think it's also just for the franchise, like, I don't know, it's hard to say no to Damian Lillard, I still think. Of course, of course. And but Drew he's Lillard's not Dame right. six years ago, like, no. shooting from half court. I right, leading them to the Eastern Conference Finals. Hundred um, percent. There's a team though we haven't Let's talked about who's been playing well as of recent, and, and we've all thought they should be higher in the standings. The Suns. Yeah. The Suns are a team that I don't think I don't know how you can say they can't win a championship. I just the they thing, absolutely can. It's even just from the when they first put the team together. It's just they're all just like very similar style players. For sure. Like they're all like just like. From Durant to Beal to Booker, like they're all like guys that like ball dominant. No defense. I mean, not yet, yeah, not a ton of defense. Durant used to play some, obviously, the long arms, but I mean, just like, I don't know. I, I thought they should have mixed, obviously, they get Beal, that's great. I just thought they should have mixed it up more with like, like a more like facilitator. Like they're all very like, they're all guys that want to like shoot, like want to shoot jumpers. Like that's all, they, have, they have three hoopers. That's what I'm saying. They, they all got guys that are like they have hoopers. That, listen, they got three guys that are all like a walking bucket. But I mean, they're all like. I actually think that facil- you need a facilitator. This is more like a a home. Not like role guys. Homer take, but like Grayson Allen is good for them. Yeah, no, he's a good. He's a very he's good like good. bench player. I think, no, he's for a starter. Sure. That, but to me, that's even like a problem that he's like. I he mean, not that he's league not that he's not worthy of like being a starter on a team. It's more just I just think like a championship team. That's like a guy that's like your like a like a really good like sixth seventh man. Well, the thing is, they don't have a bench. Well, that's my problem with them. Yeah. They have no depth either. Bowl bowl, which is a big issue. Eric Gordon's like their main. Gordon's good. Eric Gordon's good bench play. Good. Hugh Banks and O'Neal is like who they are. Royce O'Neal. It's not a great one, but like I think Grayson Allen leads three point percentage right now. Like I th- he's not. I get no, he's a solid player. Like I have no issues with Grayson Allen. It's more just they have a great. Even, but even him, he's kind of like similar to them. Yeah, they need to shoot. shoot. Like he needs to shoot the like these guys are all guys that like have to like shoot the ball to be like to make an impact. Yeah, like that's um, where they make their best impact. They none of them are like this, they do this really well, that really well. Like obviously Durant just can get a get a bucket anywhere, but I mean. So right now, the, and with the West, we'll go to baseball for the last five after this. With the West, seven through ten, the playing games are, are the Pelicans, Kings, Lakers, Warriors. Does that just end up the Lakers and Warriors being the seven and eight? I don't. Cause the Kings are dangerous, man. The Kings are like they're they're scrappy, young, but like super talented. 
And the Pelicans, too, have, like, Zions came on big this year. Yeah. Zions that finally put together, like, a real, like, finally, a Finally, like, he season. put away, like, the busts. Yeah. For a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, for sure, for sure. He played, it wasn't hurt all season. See, I don't, I don't think that's a foregone conclusion at all, though. Like, no, I don't either. Like, Lakers, Warriors. No, I, think, I understand. I think the Kings foregone. could easily, like, win it, like, 100%. one of I'm them. I think like, Pelicans can, too. I could also just see it being Lakers, Warriors. Thing. I mean, that Kings Warrior series was, like, went to seven games last year. It was incredible. It was an absolute, like, I was gonna say dogfight. It was more like one thirty to one thirty-two so kind of game. How does it was go again? It's chaos. seven versus I believe, ten. I believe it's it's like ten versus nine. Oh, they play each other first. And then, yeah, they play each other first, and oh, then if you so win, it can't you, have, be that you have to win. Like I want to say the ten seed would have to win like three games. I think to actually get in the playoff. I may be off on that. I think the ten, I believe the ten has to beat the nine. And then it's like if the not there's something where if they then the win has to beat like the other team twice. <laughs> yeah. I think the eight seed if they, they have to be the eight seed twice I believe or seven all, seed. All I know is you're pretty much right, <laughs> and that every year the play-in happens, and I'm like, oh, that's how they do. I, it. I, I was I, I like, I like generally remember, it, but I get still kind of confused. Hey, really? I think I, I think I pretty much said. <laughs> I think how it I think, is, I think the fir- what is it the first team's out to the, the eight seed or the seven seed? Like the, I know if you're the seven eight seed, I believe you have to at least lose two games yes. to actually not be in the play. Was right. the play-in tournament just pointless? Um, or not the playing tournament, the midseason tournament. No, it, no, it was, it was not. It was pointless in terms of it was. I think the point of it was to actually get people to watch NBA when no one's watching when yeah. no one's watching NBA before. But it was, but, but, it, it, that, but it had nothing to do with no. To answer your it question, actually screwed yes. some teams to me. Like I feel like, it, yeah, correct. But <laughs> also, generally correct, but, it, yes. but, it, but Ev is right though. It, it brought an eyeball. It brought it eyes. It made people and watch. it actually gave the Lakers a banner. And it kind of fucked like the Knicks. Like the Knicks had to play extra games against the Bucks. Yeah. It also, it's obviously, shit when you have to play extra games against like a really good team, where you yeah. could have easily just played someone who's it's trash. Just, the Celtics funny, had to though. play the Nets a bunch. Yeah, exactly. Right. They get lucked out. Like Knicks got like short. You, some teams got like yeah. good end sticks. Some teams got the shitty end. And it's funny the Lakers now have a COVID championship and an in season championship. It was Lakers Pacers. Yeah, like it's just that's what ever. We were Halliburton's really good, but we that was the time I remember everyone said Halliburton was like top five in the league. Yeah, he's really good. He's top like fifteen probably for sure, but top five was getting a little rich for him. Um, he, he had a good first half. You know, he, yeah, he, he had the, he, he had a Halliburton really is good phenomenal. First. I don't want him to take that it's like me like trash. Halliburton is a one of the best players in the NBA. But he was playing like a he's, top five in the first he's half. He's not. He's just not a top right now yet a top yeah. five. But NBA. he was a starter in the East for a reason. No, dude, he he's he earned legit, it. <laughs> legit one of the best point guards in the league for sure. Um, yesterday I just want to bring up. Did you guys watch the Yankee game at the end where it's just like it's six to five? Bases loaded, two outs, and then this the relieving the reliever yeah, for the McGuff, or McGuff, McGuff comes so up for the. I was like, I when he came up, I go, one he looks bad up there too. That's the guy who just pitched last inning, right? I'm like, because I was like, there's no, there's no way this is happening. And I forgot that they gave up the DH and they just had no more subs. Like, yeah, is that that's just on the coach? No. Yeah, I mean that's what happens with baseball where you have that runner at second. They, everyone assumes the game's going to end in ten innings. Stop that. End that, please. I think so baseball's stupid. doing a lot of good things. I, that is, that, that I agree. Stop. I completely agree, Mark. It's the one rule change that really bothers I me. I hate that because it's like it's just stupid, pointless. I, it's dumb. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's dumb. I I I, I, I don't. I, Obviously, hate it as much as other people. The only reason I don't like it is because it gives such a blatant advantage to the away team. That's what. That's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. like it's just like if there was a way, and I don't know how you do it to not do it. I I view it as like overtime hockey. Like three on three, it gets a little more exciting. Because I mean, I'd even rather him on first base. Like second base, it's just like so stupid. Where why is why do why they just get play that the in? innings the way every other inning? Plays? Because <laughs> I guess to hurry it up. Got tired of the you know, eighteen inning ball game. Those are so rare. I've gone to games my whole life. I think I've been to one eighteen inning plus. I went to a twenty inning game once. My whole life, I've been. I've gone to thousands of games. Yeah. It just doesn't. I I, I I I like it because it's exciting. But I, like it's exciting. But it is, is it like, a purist take? No. But it's exciting. But it is bullshit. Like the Yankees got to start, like the away team gets to start. Oh no, the away team gets gets a blatant advantage. Blatant. Yeah, I think it's just kind of stupid. Where like, why do they get to have the first? Like, cause yeah. then you know how to play it. I don't know. It's just. Oh yeah, especially. I mean, imagine the home team. Um, I, my brain just melted. <laughs> I, had, I had a whole scenario in my head, and I was just like, no, nah, it doesn't work. Um, Short circuit in real time. Was there anything else in baseball I, last night? Any, last like, night, not really. There, there um, the, it stinks because it's so, like, so cold and rainy. It just doesn't feel like baseball. But we, yeah, we had oh. we had a bunch of games. We had some games rained out. Uh, and uh, my, my pick hit, I've hit six in a row. Uh, last night I had the Dodgers uh, and Giants uh, no runs in the first inning. It happened. So I'm going for seven in a row today. I'm very excited. 
What is it? Uh, it is the Cardinals over four and a half runs. Here's why. They're playing the Marlins. Um, the Marlins are starting a guy named Ryan Weathers. He is 3-13 and with a 6.42 ERA in 32 starts. It's a, it's a, he, should, he has no business being in the major leagues. Um, and Arenado and Contreras both have a home run against him. Uh, they have 11 combined at-bats against this guy, and they each have a home run. The Marlins' bullpen's been terrible, over a 6 ERA. And uh, it's also the Cardinals' home opener. The Cardinals' bats have been very bad this year, for sure. But last year, the Cardinals' offense uh, had 20 points better batting average at home than away. So I think that hopefully that maybe being in St. Louis will make the bats come alive a little bit. Um, but I really hate Ryan Weathers. I, not as a person, but as a player. He, he's no business being in the big leagues. All right. So Cardinals over four know. and a half runs. Um, Smitty, what do you got? Uh, they got a big card today. I was on the same line of thinking uh, with Clemmer, uh, specifically because it's the Cardinals opening day at home. I mean, Cardinals and Reds opening day, like that's that's where you're at. Uh, so Ryan Weathers under four and a half. Uh, I also think Lance Lynn's on the mound. There's going to be some runs scored over eight and a half. Pablo Lopez over five and a half strikeouts. Tigers game one. Prove it to me, Mets. Prove it to me. Money line. Casey Mize on the mound plus one twenty. I also like the Royals a lot. The Royals Two. went. Royals went to. Uh, Baltimore and be honest, kind of should have swept them. They dropped two games late in uh, the game, lost by two runs on a walk-off homer, and last night they walked lost in the ninth inning by a run. Uh, love them minus one and a half. If you want to get that down to a pick them, it's minus one seventy-five. Royals and Casper Rudd tennis minus one oh six. Uh, also. Uh, Cardinals, Casper Rudd, get that down to pick them, plus 100. Seth Lugo with the Royals over 4.5K. Uh, Lightning Canadians over 6.5. And, a half, and uh, hit our first home run prop two days ago. Bryce Harper, because, you know, I just follow the fucking money. I don't know anything about baseball. O'Neill Cruz plus 300 today. I, I'm going to leapfrog on you real quick before we go. To, I, I'm on the Royals run line as well. Um, for the same reason that Seth Lugo is a fine pitcher. Oh, so you're following you, – you're just following – That's following exactly Vegas. what I yeah. thought. You're following me. Yes, yeah. sure. Uh, the White Sox starting uh, Mike Soraka, who uh, hasn't had a good start in, what, like four years now? Like, And the White Sox bullpen's terrible. So I, I like that Royals. Yeah, Royals are coming back home. They're spunky. Yeah. Bobby Witt just hits the ball harder than, than anybody I've seen in a while. I'm also on Cardinals run line, I'm sorry, and uh, and Pirates money line as well. Ev? Yeah, I'm on the uh, I'm on the card. I talked this minute before. I'm on the Cardinals as well. I'm just on the Cardinals money line. I think that Miami's is awful, uh, and I like the pitching matchup as well. Like Clemmer cited, um, I'm going to the Mets game one. The Mets are going to win today. Book it. Mets <laughs> win know, game. Oh, one. I hope so. I'm They're going to win this. game one. Dude, I have no idea who oh. that Mets pitcher is. Adrian Hauser. Hauser. Yeah, he's he's the, the Brewers. Brewers. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's been. He's, yeah. he's not bad. Yeah, he, he might not hit 90 on the gun today, but he's not bad. Either. They win, and also he's, in. What is he? What kind of is he uh, below average? Is he average? Is I actually, you know what is funny? Yeah, Aaron Hauser is a pr- pretty good example of average. Mm. Um, I think he had a, like a four two ERA. I'm, I'm going by memory here, but Adrian Hauser, he's been around. I'm surprised you haven't. He's, he's a pitcher. I think you would yeah. get a hit off of one of the lowest strikeout <laughs> rates in the majors last yeah. year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not uh, speaking yeah, of, bang, a lot of, con- a lot of contact. No, Meek's, Meek's absolutely right. Like he's right, a lot of contact, kind of throws a lot of slop. Um, yeah, uh, but, but he gets the job done-ish. Mets, game one. And also in the NIT championship tonight, Indiana State minus two and a half. I think they bring it they home. They beat Seton Hall. That's who they're playing. Oh, they're playing Seton Hall? It's cha- NIT, an NIT title game, Seton Hall, Indiana State. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's good for Kareem, both of them. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I thought they should get in. Indiana State, dude, their offense is so fun to watch. And they're, they're, they really do. They just run great. They just move the ball so well. So well. Coach's last game. Yeah, coach's oh, last wow. game. Josh Church. for who? For which team? For and and oh, let me and let me say, going, let me say this too for the people. Basically. For the people, I think this is huge because it was definitely a big factor in the last game. the The NIT Final Four, whatever, whatever you call it, championship game, Final Four, all that, is no longer in in the Garden, no longer in Vegas. It's at Hinkle, uh, Hinkle. Assembly Hall, Hinkle. Oh, where? Sem- wait, Hinkle. Not, excuse me, not Assembly Hall. Excuse me, Hinkle, Hinkle. Where uh, it's in Indiana. Okay. Oh, wow. And this is Indiana State where, like, obviously they don't do this in other sports. They showed the fuck out. It was a home game. All you saw was blue in the crowd for the semifinal game. I think you're going to see the same thing again. I don't think a bunch of Jersey guys are heading out there. I think you're seeing a massive – all you're seeing is Indiana State gear everywhere. What's the spread in that game, Ev? Two and a half, three. Okay. They're favored by two and a half, three. Give me Indiana State. Bring it home tonight. Um. Next week, Marty Burst comes back against Kyle, against Kyle Freeland. Now, Kyle Freeland, Team USA pitcher uh, on the World Baseball Classic last Don't year. Woke up his last two starts. Oh, he has been getting – I saw a stat. So, if Kyle Freeland's been so bad this year that if he pitched five shutouts in a row, 
45 scoreless innings, he would have a three ERA. Oh my That's God. above average. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That was an insult stat. That's wild, right? That was an insult stat. That crazy. His ERA, his ERA is 23 right Five now. Five complete game yeah, shutouts stop. would get it to under four. <laughs> yes. he, has, he has a 23 ERA. Oh, so so anyway, Marty Burst next Wednesday. <laughs> um, oh, so it's if, you, if you didn't get hit off this guy, you see. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah, make sure you watch that. It will be out on Wednesday. I have my pick. Oh, yeah. Me? I, didn't, oh. I didn't do my picks yet, so, Phil, one sec. Just okay. hold it back for a second. Oh, no. No, we got to get Meeks, we gotta get Meeks pick, pick in there. Meek, Meek had to put his balls on the table and won. I give me a lot of respect. The, let's let's slow it down a second. Balls on the table. I don't know, but good pick. Balls on the table. Just pick. Just well, pick. No, but we no. It was, it was plus, plus and we put we we put him to test, and he immediately rattled well, off, and it hit. He said it himself. No, no, we said what's your pick, and he and he yeah, said it, and it hit. I give me a lot of respect. I'll give him credit. It's just yeah. slow it down on the balls on the table. I, uh, I Tigers, liked it. Tigers first game. Um, I also have the Nationals, and um, I also are, am going with the Guardians. Uh, I've got Seth Lugo under one half walks, even money. If you don't hit this today, I might have to do this. Hey, Meek, I'm riding. Okay. Let's go. All right, that's the show.